All right, man, I've been here five fucking minutes. Where the hell is he? Norman? Yes, sir. Norman? Hey. Terry, nice to meet nice you, man. Nice to meet you, too. I don't know how you get any pussy with a name like Norman. We got an <laughs> op behind us. <laughs> you actually, you know, get females being named Norman. I'd be all right. <laughs> I'd have to see it to believe it. <laughs> I'm already just a very handsome looking guy. So a lot of the MILFs in our area kind of look towards me as like that good looking fella. So with a guy like you, who's obviously a pipsqueak at heart. You don't know anything about me, man. Yeah, yeah, no, it's all good, dude. But I can already tell a lot about you with your name being Norman. You're going to have to talk to my mom about that one. Yeah, I already have. All right, man. So what are you doing? Where are you headed? So I actually just turned uh, 21. Okay, word. And, uh, me and my buddies are going on a little trip to celebrate. Oh, fuck so. yeah, man, dude. I remember being 21. You know, you got to take it easy because, you know, if you're like me, you've been drinking beer every weekend since you were 16. You know, once you get 21, one, you just want to go crazy because you get into all those hard bars that you couldn't get into when you were, you know, sub 21. I, I remember my buddy Larry blew a point four two uh, when he turned 21. We lost Larry. <laughs> You're at that age now where the government trusts you enough to, you know, have a beer, you know, in public setting. There's nothing wrong with having 12, 14, but just don't have 20. You feel me? So, yeah, man, you're in college. You know, tell me about that. Are you going out three nights a week, just getting endless play or what? Huh? I've kind of dialed it back a little bit in this past year. I guess I just matured a little bit or something. Oh, okay, just... maturing's for pussies, first of all. You know, while you're in college, you should be drinking all the time. I picked up this drinking habit into my adult life. You know, I graduated back in 82, and, you know, I still find myself drinking like the college kids. So, you know, there's nothing wrong still with just getting you a drink to start your Wednesday. And people just always want to be like, Terry, give it up. And, you know, you see guys like Daly that have drank all their lives and they're happy motherfuckers. You know, I'm happy. Yeah, and there's always going to be those people that are just like, you should probably stop. But yeah. at the end of the day, you got to do what makes you happy, you know? Yeah. I do wake up and have, you know, have an hour before I have my first drink. I don't do it all the time. I don't drink while I'm behind the wheel, but while I'm waiting on people in between stops, I do. Yeah. If my body he's used to that you know then if i give it you know water it's probably not gonna like it you feel me so people don't understand that and they think that the rehabilitation process helps and i'll tell you i just meet more people like me when i go there every time they send me to rehab i just come back with a group of new friends that want to do all the dumb shit with me so like what are those rehab facilities like i've heard yeah i want to mixed reviews about them. yeah it just depends on how uh nice they are um most of the ones i've been sent to are not by my own will do you smoke that of that that gonge you smoke a little gonge uh, here and there a little bit okay well you need to get more into it okay let me tell you the health benefits okay relaxation you know it calms you down you can just lay around and you know kind of chill my wife keeps catching me with a little weed on me and i just let her know man this is why I'm the way I am, you feel me? So it ain't gonna stop, man, I'm 54. Why would I stop smoking that green if it's the only thing keeping me sane, you know? <laughs> if I could give you any advice, it'd be to, while you're in college, keep drinking as much as you can before people start looking at you funny when you're hammered on a Wednesday night. So this trip, man, where are you headed? Yeah, me and a couple of my buddies, we're going to Vegas. Vegas, yeah, holy shit, weekend. man. You seen the hangover? Yeah, we <laughs> Yeah, man, that shit's awesome, man. Me and my boys went back there, and um, actually for my first bachelor party that I had of the four, we went to Vegas, and let me tell you, man, I went down there with like 30K in my name. This is 87, and uh, fuck, I lost everything I had, man. We had to cancel the wedding. It's just the house always wins, so it's just some of that bullshit, but I'm kind of a bookie on the side, you know, got some got some kids, got some high school and college kids on the, on the book, so whenever they don't want to pay, I just pull up to their house with a gun, <laughs> and then um, their parents usually are just, you know, sorry, he'll stop, you know, and I'm like, I won't be back unless he doesn't pay again, <laughs> and you heard of OnlyFans, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sign me up, you know, <laughs> sign me up, dude. I'd be shaking ass like Sam Smith on stage. You know, I got a few of them on there. I, I ain't gonna lie, you know, uh, Brecky. You know, Brecky, you on OnlyFans or you, you, you use that shit? No, nah, man, you, you can get it for free on like- Where? You can get, you can get porn for free? Yeah. The fuck? Bro, where have you been, man? I, back in the 80s, I was buying the magazines and shit, so I never, I never knew when they did that rollover. All that shit on OnlyFans gets leaked. Where? <laughs> 
Reddit, Twitter, everywhere, bro. It's all out there. There's free porn? Yeah, right. You don't know how much fucking money I've spent on that bullshit for the past 20 years and no one wants to tell me it's fucking free. Have you ever heard of Pornhub? No! The You're fuck kidding. is that? No. Man, I'm Brazier's premium, brother. So what are you thinking about the uh, presidential election? I'll just tell you, it better be a fucking Republican. Holy shit, I've been fed up with all this bullshit and Kamala's ugly ass being in there. We did it, Joe! We did it, Joe! Shut your bitch ass up! You didn't do shit! All right, man, well, we're almost at your stop, brother. Have a good time in Las Vegas. You got any other questions about Vegas that I can fill you up on? Is it true what they say about just, like, hookers coming up to you all the time? Oh, yeah, well, I'm used to that in my daily life, but not hookers, right. just beautiful, good women. <laughs> yeah, get this. I thought this was only in other countries, but... My buddy Davey got no ass ever. Had a good looking girl come up to him and offer him some badusi, per se. And Davey goes back, whatever, they're in the room, the girl's packing more than him. Okay, I kid you not, <laughs> transvestite, you know? So, yeah, so, yeah, I kid you not, man. It was pretty funny, but we gave him a lot of shit for it, but he was kind of like, I already paid, so. You gotta um, call Davey about Yeah, that. I gotta call Davey. Uh, his wife will not be happy to hear that. It's been a right, hell of a time. Hey, you yeah. throw me five, I'll throw you five. Yeah. Okay? You're right, dude. Five stars, not the fucking tip. I want 10, 15. I'll see what I can do. Okay, yeah. yeah. All right. You're young, you're fresh, dude. Keep killing it, man. Appreciate the ride, man. I'd pay anything to go back to that day. That kid was a fucking dweeb. Holy shit. Can I get a hot bitch or something? 